guys welcome back today the head spin tutorial I already made one but that was in the metal hallway and it was dark so I'll remake it a little bit better so uh, you need a head spin beanie for the head spin and you also need a smooth floor you cannot head spin on any floor or you risk losing your hair so get a head spin beanie you can order this online right so uh, and uh, by the way if you put some elastic in your head spin beanie it won't all of a sudden fly off very handy to have of course right so uh, get all that we're ready great so for the head spin we need two moves and you need to practice them at least at the same time you practice your head spin one is a head stand and all kinds of shapes with your legs and two is a head balance where you sort of try to balance without hands yet again i did tutorials about these moves uh, but strictly the head stand like this with the legs angled forward Try to make all kinds of shapes without losing balance, right? And this position is quite important by your legs hanging to the front. So the head balance, also the to do with this, is the part where you try to balance without hands. If you cannot head balance at all, it becomes very hard to uh, head spin. But if you have a good head balance, the head spin becomes extremely easy. So at the very least, while you try the head spin, try the head balance. Now, here's the thing. When we practice head, head spin, you have to be patient and go slow. If you go fast, you will just fall a lot and not get the, uh, the results you want. So to do that, all we're going to do is a headstand with our legs to the front, angle to the front like this. Stay on the fingertips and we're going to tap extremely slow while keeping the same position. Do not swing the legs, hold your legs still and try to keep this going. Two rounds, etc. Now, when your legs sort of fly up, try to... Push them back down without stopping. So do not stop, correct and continue. It's not that wrong to do that, but it's a lot better if you just keep tapping only with the fingertips, not your flat hands, right? So it's all about patience. In the beginning, of course, you might fall after one round, but the goal is to do at least six, seven, eight rounds like this. You have to be able to do that with your legs angled down and without swinging them. Do not swing the legs. I made multiple vids on why that is not handy. And once you get the head spin down, you can start working on swinging if that's a goal you want. So, we got that down. We can do, uh, let's say, five, six, seven rounds with ease, tapping like this. All you're going to do now is tap a little bit bigger. First, be very, very slow. If it takes long, it takes long. If it takes short, it's really all about how your head balance is and how much you practice. So, it might don't take a lot of time at all, or it might take some time. But you try to get very steady, five rounds without much hiccups, right? And then you simply do a little bigger tap. So we do the exact same thing. Keep the angle position. Do not move the legs. Tap a little bigger. Tap a little bigger. Tap a little bigger. Tap a little bigger. Right? So um, what you cannot do, by the way, is when you go too fast for your liking, you cannot stop yourself. No, you just wait. You wait. You can leave your finger, your nails on the floor to slow down a little and you try to wait and tap again so that way you will gradually learn to keep spinning like that so we can sort of do also that part this might take a while to get but basically what you will unlock by going very slow and very steady and practicing like this constantly is get uh, a good tap basically then you can just start tapping more and this time we're actually going to pull with the fingers so we put our fingers to the floor so one hand is in, in, in the front like this, the other hand is turned around and by pulling with both hands you can gain a lot of speed. But because you were patient and went very slow and you should still go slow if you start falling over, you can actually gain good control all the time work on head balance. Yet again, if you can do a good head balance, the head spin is not hard at all. So it's right here, you're going to actually pull, right, pull. Do not try to move the legs. If you can, keep them in the same and move position like this, like that. Just tap with the fingers only, right? And that's it. So, great, we got all that done. Uh, at some point, you're really comfortable in the tap. You can just tap, tap, tap. Now here comes how you want to spin without hands. Um, like I said, there's a reason you shouldn't whip the legs. And we actually try to avoid this bicycle position. This is the way I learned it. That's the way a lot of people learn it. And it's actually quite a terrible position for the simple reason for if that is your standard way, it's very, very hard to learn uh, new ways. But if this, this chair or sit or tuck position is your standard way, it's actually not hard at all to learn all kinds of positions. So we start with not swinging the legs and keeping the angled sit position. 
And later on, like moves like the bicycle drill, it's not that hard once you get a good headspin, but try to train them like this and not with this bicycle position. Like I, that was my standard and I also learned it with swinging. Trust me on this, it's not a good way. You want to keep your legs still and just go. So now we tap in, we feel control. So what we're going to do is just like sitting on a chair, tuck our legs in. So not to the back like that, but really here. And then what you do is you collapse your belly on top of each other. It's like you're sitting. Watch, watch what happens automatically. Right? That's, that's the idea. You're sitting. Your, your belly collapses on top of each other and your arms go up slightly. And here you try to do the exact same as that head balance. So that's the way you start spinning. Uh, another way is just tapping and waiting until you slow down again, right? So it's also a bigger tap, two, three rounds tap again. Like you have to experiment a little bit. But here, you'll basically learn the head spin. From there, it's all practice, right? I know like old schoolers, they still like have amazing head spins without training too much. Why? Well, back in the day, they, all they did was head spin. They trained three hours on head spin a day, right? Of course you get killer head spins. But to get the standard spin will take you around three months if you practice very good and have a good head balance, right? So, on the hands, tap in, not moving the legs if you can, right? Now I'm going to sit. And that's it actually. By doing this, you get a very, uh, very solid basic head spin. From there, you can work more or less. Head spin also a very cool move to do because you don't get tired by doing it, right? Uh, moves like flare is awesome, but it takes a lot of stamina. So if you can go, for instance, from the flare to the head spin, you can actually rest in that head spin and make very long combos. Plus, like uh, you know, <laughs> everybody knows that. When you tell people you're a b-boy or a break dancer, they always ask, hey, can you spin on your head? And finally you can say yes. See you next time.